Okay, so today we'll be experimentally determining the value of the constant in the Nernst equation. And to do that, we're just going to make a simple galvanic cell using copper and zinc. And uh, my lab partner is going to be making the solutions while I set up the experiment. So let's begin. Okay, so here we have our galvanic cell set up. Our salt bridges are here, our electrodes are here and here. This is the anode, this is the cathode. Now, we have alligator clips attached to this, attached to the push switch right here. When you push the switch, um, I, uh, we allow current to flow. And um, if we want to check the voltage of the system, we can just use a voltmeter right here. Now, this voltmeter is set to millivolts, so any value you read, you must divide by a thousand in order to get a voltage. So we can measure right here. Okay, so we have a value of 860 ish, 62 um, millivolts. Now, that translates to 0 0.86. Um, both. Now, the expected cell potential of this uh, copper zinc uh, system is 1.1 um, volts, and that's based off of the standard reduction potentials table. Um, the reason we have a slightly lower value is most likely because the standard reduction potential table is based off of a perfect system, and real world situations are never perfect, and um, uh, there's always losses that can be accounted to a real world situation, so that's probably why we have a lower. And yeah, that's just about it.